I've seen a lot of newspaper movies over the years, and speaking as a newspaper man, I didn't find most of them very accurate, although some of them were entertaining. However, the new movie by Ron Howard called The Paper does seem to have the truth and the smell and the feel of daily competitive journalism. The movie stars Michael Keaton as the Metro editor of a big New York tabloid who's on to a big story, a couple of out-of-town tourists who have been murdered in a shooting on a city street. The police nab a couple of inner-city black kids and charge them with the shooting, but a star columnist on the paper, played here by Randy Quaid, has inside information that even the cops don't believe those kids are guilty. How do you know the bus is no good? I heard it on your scanner. It was subtle, but I know what I heard. A bunch of beat cops were talking about it, then the dispatcher came on and told them to shut up. But not before they said they think this bus is totally cosmetic. The managing editor of the paper is played by Glenn Close, and she's concerned with the bottom line, with dollars and cents. She wants to go on deadline with the story they have, even if, as Keaton believes, it's not accurate. It's a great lead. We'll follow it up tomorrow, but without a confirmation, we still run gotcha. Boy, what, what if these aren't the guys? What if they're innocent? We taint them today. We make them look good on Saturday. Everybody's happy. The veteran senior editor of the paper is played by Robert Duvall in a performance that is not only effective, but also surprisingly deep. If you don't have it, you know it. Uh, you want to run the story? You've got five hours until 8 o'clock. Go get the story. I, no, hey, hey, do your job. I, I, hey, you, do your job. Don't just take a position because it's the opposite of what she says. I mean, it's like watching a bunch of sixth graders, for sake. The climax of this movie builds up a lot of tension with the hard-boiled close saying we've got to go at 8 o'clock with the presses because we've got Teamsters waiting. It's going to cost us thousands of dollars to hold this story. While meantime, Quaid and Keaton are battling to get that one crucial quote from their police informant that will allow them to replate the front page. It's exciting on that level and also I was surprised by how deeply felt some of the human relationships in this film were. It's a very well-made movie. I give it three and a half stars and I'm Roger Ebert.